So today we're out doing a little hiking at Lake McMurtry in Stillwater, Oklahoma. There's two trails out here and they're both quite long and I'm on the Orange Trail and uh, I've, I've hiked the Orange Trail, trail a couple of times and uh, made it to about this point right here and was so tired that I just turned around and went back. Uh, so what I did this time is I drove and parked about in this area. So I knocked off the first half of the trail because I want to see the second half of the trail. I've never been this far before. Uh, so that's what we're out we're doing today. I got my Urban Explorer 30 liter backpack and got it full too full of gear i'm afraid but until you get a backpack filled up full of stuff and try to walk a fair amount of distance you really haven't given it a good test so i've been out here about 30 minutes and a good 10 minutes of that has been fooling around with this camera the osmo pocket 3 I know for a fact that it has a setting somewhere within the menu system, like a backpack setting where you clip it onto your backpack and it does whatever it needs to do to make that happen. Of course, I get out here in the field and I can't find where that is naturally. So uh, I was planning on doing like a time lapse of this course really I was going to use my 360 camera but got out of here and didn't have the right attachment for it uh, to strap on my backpack so I was like well I'll just use my pocket three I can't find out the right setting for it so hopefully it'll turn out okay but I don't know we'll just have to see a little bit frustrating having to deal with all this technology all the time. It's kind of a pain, but on where we go. Not here, out here really it's for cameras and just out here for a little exercise and kind of show you the beauty. Check out this new portion I've never seen before. Luckily, I haven't seen a snake yet. That's my biggest fear. I guarantee you that there is uh, rattlesnakes out here and uh, copperheads, 100% guarantee they're out here somewhere. And a while ago I was walking around this little path here and I heard some uh, leaves rustling. <laughs> it's just a little lizard, but I almost come out of my skin. <laughs> I hate snakes. Little bit disappointed that so far there hasn't been just a whole lot to show you. I spent most of my time walking under kind of a thick canopy of trees. Uh, there has been a little bit of clearing here and there, but when I do, it's just like kind of an open pasture, just a bunch of sagebrush out there, prairie grass. So. Nothing really to show you quite yet. Hopefully uh, this isn't, these woods aren't filled with uh, poison oak and poison ivy, snakes, stuff like that. But we continue on. As you can see, <clears throat> I got it loaded up with quite a bit of stuff. Half of this stuff I probably won't need, but wanted to bring it really just to test the backpack out and see how comfortable it is. So far, even with all that stuff in it and some stuff in the top and a water bottle, it's been great so far. So can't complain, back's a little sweaty, but it is about 90 something degrees. So that would happen with any backpack. But as far as the weight distribution, those load lifters and the sternum strap, they really help out, they help distribute the load really well. Really impressed with it. So. Onward we go. 
this water bottle right here. I think it's like a 24 ounce, maybe just a little bit bigger, but you can see the size, the diameter. That is about as much water as you can get in this backpack as far as like the width of your water bottle. Like if you want to bring like a big old water bottle, like 40 ounces or something like that, there's no way it's going to fit in a water bottle holder. That's a little bit of a bummer because I don't know how much further I got to go and I'm about halfway down full of water and I want to make sure that I save some for the very end. So wish I could hold a little bit bigger of a water bottle. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit disoriented as to where I am right now. Like, I know if I keep following this trail, I'm gonna you know, eventually find my way back to my truck. There's, there's no doubt about that, but I'm a little bit disoriented as to where my truck actually is. I think I'm headed north and my truck is off to the west, but I'm not 100% sure and that's a little bit, not concerning, because I know I'll find my way. Not to know exactly where everything is, is a little bit different. Not being able to see through this canopy is uh, kind of freaking me out. But I do hear the guns, and they're popping off to the west of me. And uh, that's a gun range, not just random people shooting. And uh, that's where I parked my truck is at the gun range. So I must be right. This way is north. Behind me right now is west. My truck is just over that way. So no big concerns. Just every now and then these, these uh, trails, they get to winding through here. And I get a little bit disoriented. I'll find my way though, hopefully. <laughs> If not, send help. <laughs> One thing I'm a little bit nervous about, and I really don't think I took this into consideration, is that I walked down here from the gun range on a gravel road, and then the trail, Orange Trail, cuts up into the woods, going back to the north. But I'm not 100% that going back south, it kicks you out in the same road. I'm a little bit concerned that I'm not going to make it to the same road. But I can hear the gunshots off to the west again. So I kind of know kind of where I am. But hopefully this path that I'm on currently will take me back to the road, which will take me back to my truck, which will take me home. We'll see. I'm not going to lie, I'm still on the trail, there's no doubt about it, I mean, you can see the trail down in front of me, and there's blue markers ever so often. I'm definitely on the trail, I'm not too worried about getting back to my truck, <clears throat> but when you kind of lose your bearings of where you are and you feel like you should have made it back by now to the road it starts feeling a little bit claustrophobic in these trees you can't see nowhere you can't see anything all you do is keep your head down <clears throat> follow the trail you just kind of worry if you missed a sign or a marker or something like that. But it's kind of a weird feeling. Claustrophobic is how I would uh, describe it. Yo, like, <laughs> I've been walking a lot longer than I had planned on. And I'm still on the trail. There's an orange marker right there. So 
there's no doubt that I'm still on the trail, but my internal clock is going off pretty good at this point. Like I should be getting to the end of this hike. And that's kind of making me nervous. Just cause I, I feel like I should be near the end, but I don't see the end yet. And I'm running low on water. I keep running into these trail markers, so I'm not, I'm not lost. I just don't know where I am. <laughs> That's the issue. Am I getting worried? Not yet, but I wish I was back at my truck. Hopefully I'm getting closer. I just hope I'm not out here walking around in circles. That's my biggest fear is that I've missed a sign and I'm just doing another loop. <laughs> Where is the road? Where is the road? Where is the road? Is the road, is the road? Where is the road? Where is the road? Where is the road? Is the road, is the road? Where's the road? You remember that uh, scene in National Lampoon's Vacation? when they uh, <laughs> jump their car and they kind of land off in the middle of the desert and they send Clark, takes off walking and he shows up at the gas station and he can't even function, he's so thirsty. But they, anyway, they show him walking over all the sand dunes and over top of these hills and has his shirt wrapped around his head and all those type of things. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like. And not to mention, but I don't know if you can see up in the air, those birds flying around. Those are, those are buzzards. And uh, buzzards eat off uh, dead bodies, basically. Usually uh, skunks and possums and squirrels and stuff like that, but they'd probably take a swap at me if I was to pass out. <clears throat> Wish I would have brought more water instead of an extra lens, but hopefully I'm almost there. And my internal clock is going nuts right now telling me that i should be back to the freaking road the main problem is is every cotton picking thing looks the exact same like this little area right here i can swear i've walked by this area four times already and like You get up under this canopy and this looks like where the road, where I came in off the road. The problem is I've been walking through this exact type, type of stuff for ever now. So it's awesome. Hopefully I'm on the right path, Lord. Hey, oh boy, I wish I'd have brought my drone today. I can see where the hell I am. This isn't the road when I'm on right here. This isn't the road. What I'm looking for is a gravel road. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Finally, finally made it back to the road. Oh my God. 
I didn't think I was ever gonna make it. Oh, I got a little nervous there for a minute. I totally took a wrong turn and followed that path about 100 to 200 yards maybe in the wrong direction. Luckily I figured it out and uh, turned around and got back on the right path. So today I've gone about five and a half miles in about two hours and 37 minutes. And just to let you know, I had no idea how much hiking I was doing in my head. I'm about an hour or an hour and a half too long. That's why I was getting so nervous in my head. I should have been back a long time ago. What I was gonna do, make it to the top of this hill, get in my truck, turn the air conditioner on super duper igloo cold and then get me something to drink. Hope you've enjoyed it. I didn't die. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.